and today we have a new grammar lesson which is past perfect simple and past perfect continuous if you remember you already studied the past perfect simple before in the third conditional so let's start it together okay in the beginning I want you to have a look at these pictures this is something like a story so Yesterday, when she arrived home, she couldn't believe her eyes. Let's have a look at the sentences. Someone had broken into her house. He had broken the door and the window. He had stolen all her money. He had even eaten the food in the fridge. So, as you realize here, or as you can see, these verbs are the verbs which are used in the past perfect simple, which is had plus the pp. So, talking about the usage, why do we use the past perfect? We use it to talk about an action that finished before another one, another action, situation, or time in the past. Like this example, when she returned home, a thief had stolen her money. So here, as you can see, we started with the second action, which is in the past simple, and the second part is the first action, which is the past perfect simple. And of course, remember that we can swap them together, which means that we can use when in the middle, but of course we are going to cross out the comma. So the second action, as we just said, past simple, while the first action is past perfect. Number two is the past simple, and number one, past perfect. Some examples. He had finished his homework before he went out. So, of course, the first action here is that he had done or he had finished his homework, and then he went out, second action in the past simple. If I want to use the negative, he hadn't finished his homework. If I want to ask a question, we can ask starting with had or putting a WH question word, like what had he finished before he went out? So the answer will be he had finished his homework. Okay, now let's talk about the form. The form, as you can see, had plus the PP of the verb. Be careful, of course, we have the PP regular or irregular. Negative, we are going to use hadn't plus the PP. For co uh, concerning the question, you are going to make either a yes, no question, starting with had plus the subject plus the PP, or starting with a question word plus had plus subject plus the PP. Concerning the time expressions, we have some time expressions that can be used with the past perfect, like just, already, never, once, for, for ages, for a long time, so far, and yet. And if you remember, these words are also used with the present perfect simple, as I studied before. For example, a light rain had already begun when we set out for a run. So here we use the past perfect, had, plus the PP, which is begun. Another example, I went out after I had finished my homework. So, of course, the first action here, that I had finished my homework, past perfect, and then the second one, I went out. Concerning the negative, I didn't go out. If we want to continue the sentence, we are going to put until, and we will talk about it now, I didn't go out until I had finished my homework. Asking a question, what did you do after you had finished your homework. So the answer will be, I went out. Also, let's revise the past simple quickly concerning the form. Past simple, we use the verb, of course, in the ending with D or ED or IED, or it can be an irregular verb. Negative, we put didn't plus the infinitive. Question, yes, no question, starting with did plus the subject plus infinitive, or you will put a question word in the beginning, plus did, plus subject, plus the PP. Also, we have some time expressions that are followed by the past perfect, like these. After, as soon as, because, by, plus date. For example, if we say by 15th of March, or by plus time, for example, by 2 o'clock, Okay, they will be followed by past perfect, first action, and then past simple, second action, action number two. 
Remember that we can use any of these time expressions in the middle, of course, but you are going to swap the tenses together and you have to cross out the comma. Example, after she had finished her homework, she went to the club. Or, as soon as he had finished his homework, he went out. So the first action here, that he had finished his homework, and the second action, that he, ha he went out, in the past simple. We have some other words, like before, when, or by the time. You are going to swap the tenses by starting with the second action, which is in the past simple, then put the comma, then past perfect, first action. Before she went to the club, she had finished her homework. So went, this is action number two, had finished action number one. Or she had finished her homework when she went to the club. Here, if you uh, noticed, we put one in the middle and we crossed out the comma. In some sentences also, it's clear, you have to be careful to this part, of this part. In some sentences, it's clear which action happens first. So, we are going to use the past simple for both actions, but sometimes when the order of the events isn't clear enough, or when we want to emphasize or stress on which action happened first, you are going to use the past perfect simple in the first action. For example, he realized later that he had done a very dangerous thing. So, the first action here is had done, and then he realized later, past simple. But sometimes the two actions are very clear to know which one of them happened first. Like you say, we went to a talk and met a famous explorer. So of course the first thing happened that we went to a talk and then we met the explorer. Remember also that we use the past simple for both actions when one of them happened quickly after another. Like when the little boy heard the thunder, he hid under the bed. So here you have more than one action happening after another. Okay, let's continue here. Now talking about until, it's very important. We use it in the middle, until or till. Before it, we use the past simple, but in the negative form, like didn't plus the infinitive, and then past perfect, which is the first action. For example, you can say, he didn't finish his homework, or he didn't go out until he had finished his homework. So after is followed by past perfect, after she had finished her homework, she went to the club. Before, past simple, second action. Before she went to the club, she had finished her homework. When, same like before, past simple, she had finished her homework when she went to the club. We have here at the end some pictures, like two pictures, and you will try to know which action happened first. Like, my cat spilled the coffee, I drank coffee. Which one of them do you think happened first? So the sentence will be like that. I had drunk the coffee when my cat spilled it. Another one. Harry withdrew money. A bank robbery happened. So after Harry had withdrawn some money, the robbery happened. She cut the vegetables. The knife dropped on the floor. She had cut the vegetables when the, cu when the knife dropped on the floor. Ariel called her mother and a cyclist grabbed her phone. So the sentence will be, Ariel had called her mother when a cyclist grabbed her phone. The another sentence, the phone rang, he fell asleep. So he had fallen asleep when the phone rang. Remember to revise all the time the irregular verbs, and you can find all of them in your grammar uh, reference at the end of the student book, and also you can revise the rules with some examples from the grammar reference. The last sentence, we crossed the road, a car hit a pedestrian. We had crossed the road when a car hit a pedestrian. Okay, now this is talking about the past perfect simple. Concerning the past perfect continuous, it's very easy. In the beginning, we have to know the usage of it to talk about an action that was in progress for some time in the past before another one interrupted it. Like, we had been driving for hours when we finally reached the town. Or, an action that was in progress in the past which affected a later action or state. It had been snowing all night, so the mountains were completely white. 
Also concerning the part of the result, we use it in any perfect tense. Since you studied before the present perfect, we had the part of the result. So the past perfect continuous is just, just like that. Action that was happening or took a long time in the past, another one interrupted it, or it can have another result. What about its form? Had plus been plus the main verb and ing. I had been walking for a long time before I arrived home. Concerning the negative, I hadn't or I had not been walking for a long time. If I want to make a question like, had you been walking and you continue the sentence or the question. Finally, the time expressions. The most common time expressions used with the past perfect continues all day or all night or all week, four years, for a long time, since two o'clock or since yesterday, at the time. So all of these are the most common time expressions used with any, in general, used with any continuous tense or specifically with the past perfect continuous. Now, finally, let's move to some exercises in your student book. It's in your uh, student book page. Um, page 87. Okay, here we have some questions. We can use the past perfect simple for an action or situation that happened before another one. In which sentence has an action or situation happened before a specific time in the past? Of course, it will be letter B. He had traveled all over the world by his 30th birthday. Which one of them had an effect on a later action in the past? It will be letter A, that we had forgotten our passport, so we couldn't board the plane. Here we have another result or effect. Another exercise, we have two examples and we have some questions. The passengers had arrived at the airport before the plane took off and the passengers arrived at the airport before the plane took off. Do the sentences mean the same? Yes, both of them here mean the same. Okay, why does the first sentence use the past perfect simple? To emphasize which action happened first or to make us stress more focus on which action happened first. Now, if we complete the rules, when the order of events in a sentence is clear, we can use the past simple for both actions. But when the order isn't clear, or when we want to emphasize or stress more on which action happened first, we can use the past perfect simple. Another exercise, correcting the verbs. And at the end, you will put B if it, the sentence contains both of the two tenses, past perfect and past simple, PPS for past perfect simple only, or PS if both of them are past simple. Number one, I was annoyed because John, we can say, had used or used my computer without asking me. Number two, until 2009, I had never appeared on TV. So here it's only past perfect simple. Number three, I watched a documentary, went upstairs and went to sleep. It's here past simple, so the three actions are happening one after another. Number four, as soon as they heard the loud noise, they rushed outside. Also here we have past simple. Five, the injured climbers hadn't or had not eaten anything for days by the time the rescue team arrived. So here we used only the past perfect simple. The last one, the skier, we can say had or had had an accident and his friend took him to hospital. Here both tenses can be used. Concerning the past perfect continuous, we use it either for action that started in the past and were still in progress when another one occurred in the past, like this sentence, we had been driving for a few hours before we realized that we were lost, or actions that were in progress in the past and had an effect on a later action in the past, like they had been walking in the desert for days so they were exhausted. Correcting the verbs here, either you will put the past perfect simple or continuous according to the meaning. Number one, the survivors had finally reached a village after days of walking. So here, past perfect simple. Number two, the students had been preparing for their excursion for months. As it's clear in this sentence, it's happening or took a long time. That's why we use the past perfect continuous. Number three, 
We had been hoping to find some water for days. Same idea here, we have four days, so it's a long action. Number four, the man had managed to stay alive for five days before he was rescued. Past perfect simple. Number five, the explorer hadn't imagined that it would be so difficult to cross the river. And the last one, number six, the young man had been surfing since he was a child. Here we use the past perfect continuous because it took a long time since he was a child or since his childhood. Thanks a lot for listening and I hope you all great success and happiness.